alert for the first time since the scandal broke. The president just took a question about a scandal that is consuming Washington more with each passing day. The heat is being turned up on the president both by Republicans and Democrats to speak to this issue. Pennsylvania Democrat Joe Sestak, the man who defeated Senator Arlen Specter in last week's Senate primary, insists that the administration offered him a job to drop out of that race. Our own Major Garrett asked President Obama about the controversy just a short time ago. Secondarily, can you tell the American public, sir, what your White House did or did not offer Congressman Sestak to not enter the Democratic senatorial primary? And how will you meet your levels of express transparency and ethics to convey that answer to satisfy what appear to be bipartisan calls for greater disclosure about that matter? The, Thank you. Uh, there will be an official response shortly on the SESTAC issue, uh, which I hope will answer your questions. Uh, you will get it from my administration. So, um, and it will, it will be coming out, when I say shortly, I mean shortly. I don't mean weeks or months. Um. He went on to say, but I can assure the public that nothing improper took place. Jason Lewis is a syndicated radio talk show host, and he's my guest now. Jason, uh, you know, the president assures us nothing improper took place. Robert Gibbs came out and said nothing inappropriate happened. Uh, if, the, if the statement being offered by the administration doesn't go beyond that, are, 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 is that enough? Well, I was waiting for the president to say the American people have to know their president is not a crook. And I'm not a crook. Uh, people that might remember that going back years to the Nixon administration. He is in a minefield right now. Because either the congressman is lying or the administration did offer a quid pro quo, which is in violation of Title 8 or 18, I should say, of the United States Code that says a government official cannot receive anything of benefit in exchange for a government job. So they've really backed themselves into it. And that's why the president really said nothing today. Because, you know, going back to Nixon, uh, there's still no evidence that Nixon knew of the break-in. Uh, the obstruction of justice charge is what brought down the Nixon administration. So anything any administration official says, including the president right now, is going to be parsed going forward. Now, granted, there's not a special counsel yet, so it's not anything that's a, a deposition or under oath. But still, it's a minefield right now for this administration. Well, should there be a special counsel? Because Daryl Issa... Uh, a Republican congressman asked for that, and the Department of Justice said no. Then you had all of the Republicans on the Senate Judiciary Committee, that's taken it up a level, send a letter to the DOJ saying, we want a special prosecutor. We want, you can't have the DOJ, you know, talking to the White House, and the, the interior lawyers of the Department of Justice who represent yeah. uh, the White House saying, oh, you say nothing inappropriate happened? Okay, well, nothing inappropriate happened, and we're not going to investigate whether any, anything inappropriate happened. Yeah, that's always been an interesting phenomenon. The Department of Justice under one administration would investigate itself. We had the independent counsel statute, which didn't work out too well. But we've always had special counsels where the DOJ would appoint somebody independent. And frankly, the same holds true here. I mean, can you... Can you can Eric Holder really do a good job of this, given his ties to the administration? So the Republicans are calling for a special counsel. If there's nothing there, um, they can wrap up the investigation. You know, th there's a question in, in some people's minds about whether, as Sestak tells it, a crime was committed. What Sestak says expressly is that he was offered a job in the administration in exchange for dropping out of the race. He, he's the one who says, yes, it was definitely in exchange for dropping out of the race. Two, at least two statutes apply. You mentioned uh, the U.S. Code, 18 U.S.C. Section 600. Whoever directly or indirectly promises any position or employment to anyone as consideration for political activity in connection with a primary election, they're guilty. Then there's 18 U.S.C. Section 595, a, a federal employee who uses his authority to interfere with or affect the nomination or election of any candidate for Senate also commits a misdemeanor. Those are just two statutes that apply. Jason, what can the administration say to get out of this? I mean, I what, what do we well, expect? I suppose they can say that this has been going on in politics since time immemorial. We offered support to Sustec. We said we would support you if you paved the way for Arlen Specter. But that's not what he's saying. And, and Megan, that's really the crux here. It wasn't, you know, this, this disclosure didn't come out from a leak. It didn't come about from Fox News or a journalist or Republicans. It came from one of the parties involved. 
So how do you backtrack on that? Either he's lying or the administration is in deep doo-doo, as Bush throw, 41 used to say. How do they throw him under the bus? I mean, this is a Democratic candidate for Senate. They, they need this senator. Uh, I, you know, to go, they need the state to go blue in the Senate election. How do they throw Sestak under the bus? <laughs> to save the administration versus one Senate seat, they'll throw him under the bus. I mean, if it, came, if it came to that, and if there's something here. I mean, the other aspect of this is it wasn't just any job. It wasn't like, well, we'll get you a, a bureaucratic position inside the EPA. This was Secretary of the Navy. That's so you've got young men and women whose lives uh, are on the line being guided uh, ostensibly by somebody who got the job who may not be qualified. Well, I mean, he's, he's a decorated admiral in, in the Navy, so you can argue that one. But, but let me ask you this. Right. Does Sestak, well, but that now this be, man but wants that to be a senator. be the reason he got the job. Right, okay, I understand. But, but Sestak is now wanting to be a United States senator should this should this man now be compelled to tell us what happened is it sufficient at this point for him to be saying I said all I'm gonna say which is that an offer was made well of course and that's why Ed Rendell and Dick Durbin and other Democrats around the country are kinda coming down on him saying look he needs to be forthright about this this should have been a 24-hour news cycle story now it's been a week it's it's getting larger with the republicans calling for a special counsel and the administration is going to have to come clean once again you know it was president obama during the state of the union who lambasted the supreme court for citizens united saying oh money would buy off votes we can't have corporations and free speech that'll buy elections well excuse me now you're talking about buying a whole senate seat well we'll watch it the president says uh... An official response will come out shortly, that was his word, shortly, and from his administration, not from him. As Jason points out, the rumors are that it was a, the job was Secretary of the Navy. The rumors are also that the person who offered it uh, was White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel. We don't know any of this. We'll wait to see what the administration has to say. Some people asking, why is it taking so long? Uh, he says it won't be weeks or months. Jason, all the best. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it.